If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC25, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC25 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today we have um, an icon to review. We have Zanetti. Zanetti had a card last year that was released like later on in the year. I think it might have been like... Um, you might have had like two different cards or something, but that card, when I used it in game, I was actually so surprised. I think it was a center mid or CDM card. It wasn't a right back card. And I remember using him during that time frame. I was like, oh, they actually kind of like did some special things to this card. So I'm very curious to see how for this year's game, this card's going to perform. Um, is it mostly right back? Okay, so mostly right back. I mean, you can use him as a left back if you want, but it is mostly right back. Okay, so the roles that he has... He has wing back plus plus. So that's if you actually want him to attack. With what play styles? Intercept and a jockey's nice. Press proven is actually nice. Rapid plus is nice. Relentless also nice. And he has a power shot too. Okay, I mean, if we get a passing opportunity, then cool. But it's I think it's just mainly gonna see like what dribbling and defensive capabilities are like. His physical's at a 75, and by default, I want to give him a shadow, to be honest. Oh my goodness, 44 jumping. 44 jumping. Brother, what? Forty-four jumping. EA, do, does EA know that this is a video game and they could just like special sauce cards up like crazy? Do they know that? Especially for a card that costs 384k? Do they know that they can do that? Because I don't think they know that they could do that. Why? Anyways, uh, 96 acceleration, 96 for sprint speed, better defensive stats, all that good stuff. So, yeah. Uh, listen, we're just going to be trying him out in the right back position. We'll see if I have to play on more than one account. Hopefully the PC account is enough. Please. Please. And uh, yeah, we'll see how he plays. I think I just need to give him a shadow because you can't make him a lengthy on a... You can't make him a lengthy on a anchor. So let's just do that. Give him the shadow. And we will see how he plays in game. We also have an evolution and we're reviewing a tactic at the same time. So not a big deal there. We'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Dribbling in those situations doesn't feel too bad, actually. Gonna commit him a little bit here. Force out run. Nope. You are such a little rat. Literally went to go. He's, his name is Please Don't Hack, but he hacks. Oh my goodness, man. That was sloppy. Like over accelerate there. Slot pass. I'll take that. Oh, bad ball roll by me. There we go. Tackle there. Oh. those challenges I still got the ball let's get it oh man just go around the guy oh and then he has to an emphasis for the ball to go out 
Almost gets the reach there. I guess that's the press proven working there, huh? Nice goal. Good stuff. He actually did really well there. That was all AI that gets that ball for me there. I don't have jumping. Oh, he's still... Oh, okay, well, it is what it is. <laughs> Get it! Oh. Oh, I can't switch the patry. Okay, cool. Oh, we're oh oh oh, that's it off. There you go. Force it, force it, force it. Little dribbles. Force it again. This cross should work. That's not okay. Oh, dude, you know what's so crazy is that like you create that space and the, the touch is just so emphasized, man. They didn't time it correctly, I guess. Oh, it didn't let me switch the first time. You guys can check my controller, but we got it eventually. We got it eventually. Oh, dude, he doesn't even jump. He just goes for a chest touch. Oh, yeah, that's an overthrow. Yeah, yeah, that's an overthrow. Like, can I at least choose to do an overthrow? Like, how much power do I have to put behind the pass for it to go to the fullback? Why is it passing it close with that much power? Bro, I'm just editing this back. Do you, look at the register. Look at what the game registers on the pass. Look, this, this is why I tell you guys the controls of this game is horrible. Look at this. Look at what it registers, bro. Look at look at the bottom left. Look at what I'm pressing. I'm holding it, right? Because I'm trying to pass it to my to the guy on the left side here. Look at this. Look at what it registers at the bottom left, and look at what I'm pressing. I'm holding it, and the game does this, bro. Look at the registration. Like, like as if I did. Like I was scared to touch it, bro. I was like, I was like. Oh my god. And you? Oh yeah, I wasn't going to it wasn't going to be the Zanetti there, that's for sure. A good through pass there. He was tracking there the whole time, but you should still switch to your other defender to try to get to that. Offers himself up for the pass. That's good. Hold on, give him a couple business days. Give him a second. Got it eventually. He gets to that first time, it's good. That's not the direction I wanted to go. Your initial through ball to, to uh, Z from Zanetti, excuse me. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, 
Oh, and I pressed tackle there. Good law pass. Please give it in. I have to do a lot a lot pass quickly. Let the manually control that there. Oh, he got bullied. Oh my goodness. Healthy? Is that Natsy the best penalty kick taker in the game, baby? Where is he at? 70. Best penalty kick taker. Top left. Easy, bro. If Javier Zanetti's on the ball, easy goal, bro. Easy goal. Jeez, man. You know I tried to tackle there twice, right? Please, thank you. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the Zanetti card. So, um, yeah, let's talk about how he performs in game. So, on a shadow chemistry style, um, you know, obviously increasing his pace to be as high as possible is going to be the most ideal situation for this card because obviously he doesn't really have uh, a lengthy on him and his pace is not at a, like a 99.99. Uh, there are moments where when you're running with him, you wish for it to be higher, to be honest with you. Like, there's there's definitely moments where it's like that. Or you wish that his pace stats was set up like this, but you can give him an anchor, right? And then he would have, like, better defense and better physical, but then he would be a lengthy with the same pace that he has on the card beforehand. And to be honest, at this price range, I think that he should. But on a shadow, you know, you definitely want to use him I would say mainly as a fullback. I mean, you can use him as a wingback if you really want to, to attack with him, for sure. You know, there are moments where using the press proven is helpful, but then there are moments where not so much, especially if you're, like, overexerting yourself in certain situations. You could definitely feel that emphasis in certain areas um, when he is dribbling. It has to be, like, when you're, like, really close to defenders where it actually kind of makes a little bit of a difference. Um I'm going to tell you guys this right now, man. Like, if I'm going to be doing, like, a comparison of one fullback versus another, like, if you're going to be using your fodder towards something, like, honestly, just do Beasley. Like, I'm going to be real with you guys. Like, this card is a left back, at least with him, right? On an anchor chemistry style, um, on an anchor chemistry style on 97, 98, his quick step is being compensated, but he has 98 sprint speed. And not only that, but this card is more agile on the ball because he's a shorter player at five foot eight. You know what I'm saying? So that dribbling, it's not super ideal as a four four two left mid unless you give him a finisher, which improves a little bit. But he still feels like a card that you would want to use in a more like defensive way. But on an anchor chemistry style, at least this guy gives you more agile feel in the game, right? And they're a very similar price when it comes to comparing the two, right? But again, it's mainly like. Fullback versus fullback, SBC versus SBC. Like, for me personally, I would rather tell you guys to do this Beasley card. Because for me, I didn't really notice anything too crazy special out of Zanetti. Decent card, sure, but at the price range, no. Like, honestly, we got this card in, like, the beginning of the year, right? Um, As, like, a club member reward. This guy right here, like, you're better off. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're better off with this guy. And you know what's crazy is that he doesn't even have fullback, and I would still use this guy on the fullback. 
because I don't know, he's they kind of they kind of special sauce this card this year, to be honest, because he performs way better than you think in game. Like so it's one of those cards, you know? It's definitely one of those cards. But look, Shadow 96, 98, right? But his physical is much better. Shadow chemistry style. But then guess what? I can get I can make him a, a lengthy on an anchor as well. You know what I'm saying? So with Zanetti, I think it's mainly a sentimental lock for sure. Uh, or unlock. Can the card still perform decently in game? Sure. At the price range, not a chance, in my opinion. Um, yeah. I think they're doing an IQ test with some of these SPCs, man. Because, like, dude, some SPCs, like, when they cost a certain amount, like, you guys know, I, I don't care about the like to dislike ratio. Like, you guys know, you know I'm, uh, this, you're going to see this guy in the review. You guys know that I was, like, super against this like to dislike ratio. Like, this dislike uh, is incredibly stupid for a card like this, honestly. I Like, th this is the. This is the judgment of the of the IQ right here, right? With Zanetti, I don't think so. Like I use him in game as a right back, and the whole time I was like, I wish I had Dalo there. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at that hiccup, bro. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, eh, you know what I'm saying? Like if you unlock him, sure, but for 389k, I don't even know if you guys have ways of unlocking fodder right now. So yeah, it, you know, what? like I said, the price range of the cards. Where he's at, it should have been a lengthy on an anchor if he's formatted a certain way. I don't know if he's if it's even possible if he's five foot ten. I don't know exactly how it works, right? But on a lengthy with an anchor, with the same pace as what he has on the shadow, and then the physical being much higher because the jumping is it's gonna cook you sometimes, right? With the physical being low and stuff too, then it's like okay, cool, you know. But they know that they're releasing a generic card for the price range that they're releasing it at. Can he still perform decently in the game if you're doing like some sort of sentiment with like inter Milan players? Yeah, he could still perform, but not at that price range. Not a chance. How much is Dalo? Obviously, it's not an SBC, so it's very different, right? But oh, dude. Honestly, like obviously, it comes down to like what links you can work with and stuff too, for sure, because an icon can link with anybody, but this guy's a beast. So. There you have it. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. We're cooked for content so far this year. Honestly, the last two weeks have been absolutely horrendous. So I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.